just got this bad boy in the mail. This is the SE version of John Mayer's Silver Sky. I'm super stoked. So given that this is the SE, the student edition, and we have John Mayer's guitar here, I thought, what better of an opportunity to teach you guys gravity in kind of an easy fashion. So those intro chords that I'm playing over are actually pretty simple. It's just a G and a C. So G. So if you want to spice up those chords a little bit without being too complicated, you can play the G in kind of a Hendrixy way. So instead of this open G chord, you can play it like this which is 5th fret D, 4th fret G, and 3rd fret B. So like this. Then I'm hammering on to the 5th fret of the G with my pinky. And then we have the C next. If I don't want to play that C, I can play the C as kind of a power chord. So 3rd fret A, and then... 5th fret on the D, G, and B. Then you can hammer on to the 6th fret of the B with your pinky to get that kind of Hendrixy embellishment feel. And now that we got the chord progression, finally, the intro riff that we all know and love. So, this iconic riff starts with a slide on the G string from the 7th to the 9th. Then eighth on the B, tenth on the B, bend it up, and you're bending it up twice, and you're you're only picking it once, but you're bending it up twice. So bending it up a full step should match the note. This B right here. The next phrase is this. So we're doing the same thing, sliding from. Seven to nine, bending it up twice, but then we're just resolving on the 10th fret of the B and playing that note twice. Then we do it again, bend it up twice. Finally, bending it up twice and then coming down to this eighth fret on the B, the ninth fret on the G, and then 10th fret on the B. So all together one more time. Like that. And between those phrases, there's little embellishments that you can play, so I'll show you one. This would be the first phrase. So that's just, you're playing the third fret on the B, hammering onto the fifth, and you're also picking this open G string. Back to the fifth. And then second fret on the G, third fret on the B, and you're picking those two, and you're hammering on to the fourth of the G. So, next phrase. And he kind of does that a lot. So what he's doing is A string hammering on from the fifth to seven. And then playing that fifth fret on the D. And then seventh fret on the D. And fifth fret on the G. And sliding that up a whole step. So, so yeah, those are a couple things you can use in between those phrases. And then after all that, goes into an A minor 7. And again, we're just playing the easy version of these chords. And they match the recording pretty well, honestly. So an A minor 7, 2nd fret on the D, open G, and 1st fret on the B, and open E. So A minor 7. D7, which is two on the G, one on the B, and two on the E. Then it goes to a G minor, and I'm just playing that on three strings. I'm playing the D string, fifth, then I'm playing the G and B, 
on the third fret. Then I'm putting my pinky down on the sixth of the A string. back to that D7. Then back to those intro chords, the G. And then again, it switches to that A minor 7. mostly soloing in G major or E minor. And yeah, you can kind of just improvise there too as well. Right there in the E minor, G major shape. If you want to get a little funky, you can go G minor. and there you have it. I hope that was a helpful introduction to Gravity by John Mayer. If you want to go a little more in depth with the song, I definitely recommend checking out Marty Schwartz's lesson on this song. It's fantastic. goes super in depth. Again, we just scratched the surface, but I hope it was a good introduction. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.